Okay, vegetable meatball soup. This is going to be super easy. We're going to this is another one you just start throwing the kitchen sink in. Oh, I was telling you before we start that, these chips, uh, we sell these down in our bakery deli. These are fresh made in our bakery deli. They're really good chips. Great item for Super Bowl. So keep these in mind. We've used these in several different recipes we've had up here, and I really like those. All right. Now, we're going to start throwing in the kitchen sink. This is, a, this is a, basically Italian meatball soup. Um, this is Italian style vegetables. I believe there's zucchini, cauliflower, carrots, um, onions, peppers, green beans, lima beans, kitchen sink in this. I think these are run, they run about $2.29, a little over $2 a bag. They're down with the other frozen vegetables. They're right beside the breaded squash if you've overlooked them. So the vegetable meatball soup. It's one bag of frozen, actually it says two cups, but it's, you can use a whole bag. That's what I use. It's a whole bag of Italian vegetable blend. Italian vegetables. Yeah, I think she, she combined two lines. <laughs> she combined two lines, I believe, on this recipe list. <laughs> yes, this. Yeah, and there, there is, uh, there is uh, Italian vegetables, and then we will have the Italian tomatoes, diced tomatoes, which they no longer call Italian tomatoes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take one bag of Italian vegetables. You can, two cups. Now, if you don't prefer these vegetables, you can put in another kind of vegetable. These frozen vegetables just work really, really good. You know, they're quick and they're easy. 16. But you know, sometimes when you start measuring out a bag, it, uh, you have a few more. Just dump them all in. This is soup. It's not going to matter. Okay, so we got that out of the way. It's Italian frozen vegetables. Dump that in a pot. I better turn this pot on. All right. Then we're going to add two cans of beef broth. Just regular size cans of beef broth. Now, if you want to make your own, you can. There's a lot of, you know, good uh, stocks. All right, now we're going to add one bag of, these are fully cooked Italian meatballs. You can find these in the meat department. We also have regular meatballs, Italian meatballs. Um, then you can, uh, you can also find them in the frozen food department, but they're in the frozen freezer doors of the meat department. But they're Ital Armour Italian meatballs, real good little meatballs. So you put a whole bag of those in there. Like I said, you're just dumping stuff tonight. This is super easy. All right, now we're going to put one can of Italian diced tomatoes. Well, here's the kicker. It no longer says Italian tomatoes on it. It says basil, I know Nancy, you don't like basil, garlic and oregano. That is the Italian tomatoes. They just no longer call it Italian tomatoes. All right, and we're going to pour that in. Uh, actually, I think those were hunts. But the food club, yeah, the, there is a food club. It's a fire, I think it says fire roasted something on it. But I used the hunts on this one. All right, now we're going to add a cup and a half of water. All right, and then we're going to add a third a cup of small shells. You get a few more, it's okay. You don't have shells and you've got elbow macaroni, it's all right too, you know. <laughs> I don't, you know, you buy a great big box. If you've got something else, throw it in there, it's all right. I like the shells, I think they're cute, but you know, if you don't have them, it's all right. Now, we're gonna cook this till it boils. All right. We're gonna cook this till it boils, and it's gonna, it's gonna take a few minutes to get it to boiling. Um, after it boils, we're gonna turn the heat down, cook it about 12 more minutes. Like I said, I like to cook Go ahead and transfer mine over the crock pot because I'm busy and I'll forget about it. 
You can put a lid on it, turn it down low on the stove, let it simmer, and it's fine. Um, but we're just going to get we're going to get this to boiling really good. And let me go ahead and get a bowl of this out. Can you stir these out in the crock pot? Yes, and it's fully the meat and stuff's fully cooked, so it's not it's not going to hurt. You can start in the crock pot if you want. All right. Once it cooks, you're going to have a really nice. And we'll go back over the part that people uh, kind of missed. All right, now this is what your soup that it really it really gets a kind of a tomato uh, sauce look. Throw a little cheese on it. You can put a little Parmesan cheese in it, even if you want. <coughs> and this tonight must be cheese night because I'm going to put cheese on everything. 